I recently had a person connect with me from England and I'm in New York City and she has seen my videos on various platforms and asked me about my coaching services and I wrote her back and I said and I don't want to use her name I said dear so-and-so and I don't you know, don't want to use her name here because she didn't give me permission to use her name but I said thank you for the connection but these days I do very little uh, individual coaching over the years I have worked with small businesses and organizations and institutions but now I'm, I, I don't do individual coaching my story and the success of a system called physical communication technology which is a true story about a man at the end of his rope and the choice he had to make between two philosophies that could possibly guide him to improve the quality of his life before it was too late. And he, which is me, how I got out of my lowest point in my life. Uh, even my psychologist friend said that he had rarely heard of someone going through eight devastating crises around the same time, all around the same time. And I counted them off. I had lost more than a million dollars in my real estate company. My father had died of cancer. And my wife told me never to come back. I had no money and no employment. And lawyers were trying to take lawyers and tax collectors were trying to take uh, my family home away, away from me. But I had nowhere to turn. No hope. I was ready to check out. I was ready to leave life. And then I discovered physical communication technology. And it worked. Physical communication technology consists of only three main parts. Number one, moving your innate energy with emotional intensity. Number two, saying your goals out loud and learning the importance of words and thoughts. Number three, focusing and taking daily actions on what you're good at doing and marketing them on various internet platforms effectively. The physical communication strategy is the approach I have adopted from my wealthy uncle and my trash man, businessman, father to get into that state of feel good fast. Now the term describes a quick uh, action taken to get into the proper mindset of achievement, both powerfully and immediately. So first, you establish a mindset or a memory of feeling good and feeling uh, achievement and then associate that feeling with a movement and later when you make this move you should spark the emotions you've had earlier and brings you back into the mindset you need to effectively reach your goals most people do not move very much they want to change things in their lives but they do not move very much or very often. And I have discovered that, that experience matters. If you want to learn about investing, you buy one share of stock. If you want to lose weight, 
you push yourself away from the table and walk up some stairs. Now, if you want to learn about wealth, you visit a Bentley dealer and test drive a $350,000 automobile. Now, perhaps the best way to describe this philosophy, the best, is to consider what happens when a boxer inside a boxing ring or a race car driver is racing around the track. The pace is fast, the danger level is high, and the adrenaline is flowing. There is no time for lengthy discussions or thinking, whether it's to react to a punch or to change lanes. A decision, a decision must be made. Successful people often run their lives this way, moving at high speeds, quickly assessing the situation and quickly making the necessary changes so they can achieve their goal immediately. Successful people use this skill differently than most other people. You must get into the flow quickly. This will have a major effect on your success. Keep connecting your energy differently. I'm Kerry Ruff.